While cities in the U.S. grapple with housing affordability, officials at the country's largest housing authority are in the headlines, not for putting roofs over people's heads, but for allegedly lining their own pockets. Dozens of employees at the New York City Housing Authority arrested and accused of taking bribes. The Department of Justice announcing that it was the biggest federal bribery bust in its history. The corruption we've alleged infected every corner of the city. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams speaking to reporters on Tuesday said the DOJ charged 70 current and former NYCHA employees for allegedly demanding a total of $2 million in bribes from contractors. Bribes, Williams said, had become business as usual at the agency. Superintendents, assistant superintendents and others held great power in deciding which contractors would receive small contracts for repair, or construction work. These contracts were valued at under $10,000. Contractors under $10,000 are not required to go through a public bidding process and are given to contractors at the discretion of a NYCHA official. Discretion Williams alleges was abused by the NYCHA defendants. After a contractor finished the work, the superintendent or assistant superintendent needed to sign off on the work so the contractor could get paid by NYCHA. But we allege that these defendants demanded their own cut in the form of cash bribes. William says of the 335 NYCHA housing developments across New York City, nearly one third of those were involved in the bribery scheme. One in 17 New Yorkers live in NYCHA housing developments, and the Housing Authority receives more than $1.5 billion in federal funding every year. According to the indictment, the 70 defendants are facing several bribery charges that could send them to prison for decades.